Now Ruth Moniz of Sydney, home crowd, top qualifier, but I'm sure she's fighting a bag of nerves. What a shame. We could see her, Ruth, standing there before she mounted, looking pretty nervous. She had a fair wait before the judges would let her start. But that anything could happen on beam in finals, it's just one of those pieces. I'm sitting here with everything crossed. And she will just uh, take her time getting back up because uh, did she uh, knock her forward? Yeah, I think she might have just scraped her head. It's such a shame when the gymnasts want that medal so badly they've got to learn how to control that they can't use it in the wrong way. Shane Beam is Ruth's absolute favourite apparatus. If she's training in the gym and nothing else is going too well, she'll get to Beam and she just loves it. She really thrives for Beam. One of the very few gymnasts that actually does. She's fourth on the Beam at China Cup. That was a tough row for Ruth, very similar to the one we saw her come unstuck with, so... She'll be happy to have completed that well. And the full twist in Corbett. Not performed by many gymnasts, as we can probably see why. Extremely difficult. Monique Roos has been in uh, finals on beam in other international competitions before. I guess just competing in front of Australia, the crowd. And extra nerves really does make it hard on beam. Well, she's already had the first bell, and there goes the second bell. She's going to lose heavily for being overtime as well. But I'm sure she's going to learn a great deal from this beam routine. And still did a great job on the dismount. Well, maybe nerves got the better of her at the start, but there's a lot of courage in that beam routine from Ruth Moniz. That's right, it's, it is so difficult going into a final, placing number one. You put that extra pressure on yourself. But again, it comes down to experience. This is the first row we can see going early, missing a foot in the first layout. And she did hit her head there, Steve. Yes, that was a heavy fall. I think the disappointment's a lot more worse than the head. And for Ruth Moniz, 8.462 on the beam. Disappointment for her, but she looks like she's uh, okay after that heavy fall. 